You thought cat bites were just a love tap? Think again. We're diving deep into the depths of feline behavior to uncover the reasons behind those pesky bites. From fear and aggression to overstimulation and old age, we'll explore all the possible motives for your cat's chomping habits. So, sit back and brace yourself for a wild ride as we shed light on the mysteries of the cat bite. The first reason why cats may bite is due to fear or aggression. Cats are naturally territorial animals and may bite if they feel that their territory is being invaded or if they are being approached by a perceived threat. They may also bite if they are feeling scared or anxious, as a defensive reaction. Fear biting can be caused by a traumatic past experience, a new environment, new person, new pet or sudden changes in their routine. Overstimulation is something that plenty of cat owners are familiar with. That's why most of them have scratches on their arms. When cats are being petted or played with for too long or too aggressively, they may bite as a sign that they have had enough. They can also bite if they feel overwhelmed by their surroundings or the situation they are in. It's crucial to understand your cat's body language and to respect their boundaries. Cats have their own way of communicating that they've had enough, and it's vital to respect that. If your cat is biting during petting or playtime, it's a sign that they need some space to relax on their own terms. Evolving from lions and tigers, domestic cats inherited territorial behavior. Your feline friend may bite if they feel that their territory is being invaded. This can include their home, their food, their toys, or their owner. They may also become territorial if they feel that their personal space is being threatened by a new person, pet or object. Cats have a strong sense of territory and will defend it with their teeth if they feel it is necessary. It is important to respect your cat's territory and to give them their own space. This can include providing them with their own bed, food bowls, and toys. Humans are not the only ones that can get hangry. Cats can bite if they are in need of food or water, if their regular feeding schedule is disrupted or if their food or water bowls are empty. If you're left without food and water for a long time, you'd probably become more aggressive than them. To prevent this kind of biting, it's crucial to ensure your cat's basic needs for food and water are met, and to keep a consistent feeding schedule. Additionally, cats may bite if they are fed low-quality food or if their diet is not meeting their nutritional needs. Remember, they love eating meat. It is important to provide your cat with a balanced diet that meets their specific dietary requirements to avoid this type of biting. When cats are feeling unwell or experiencing pain from an illness or disease, they may bite as a defensive mechanism or as a sign of discomfort. This can be caused by dental issues, injuries, infections, or underlying medical conditions. A few ways to determine if your cat is sick is lethargic behavior, losing weight, vomiting, discharge from its eyes or nose, or changes in litter box habits. If you notice any of these signs, it's essential to take your cat to the vet immediately to identify and treat any health issues and to provide pain management. Next comes the primal urge to use fangs and rely on instincts. Biting is a natural behavior for cats, and they may bite simply because they are following their instincts. This can include hunting, playing, or grooming. Kittens especially may bite as a way to play and explore their environment. It's important to provide your cat with toys and other interactive items to channel their natural instincts in a positive way. Of course, training your cat is a must when it comes to understanding and respecting boundaries. While we're on the topic of training, that's one of the reasons behind the infamous cat bite. Felines that are not properly trained as kittens may have biting as a behavior that needs to be corrected. This can include biting as an attention-seeking behavior, or as a way to assert dominance. Training your furry friend to understand and respect boundaries can help to reduce the chance of having scratches on every visible body part. It's important to use positive reinforcement techniques such as rewards and praise to teach them what is and is not acceptable behavior. Now, imagine if you were born into the world and you could only say the word meow. You'd try other methods of communicating too. Cats can use biting as a way to communicate to their owners that they need something or that something is wrong. For example, a cat may bite if they need to be fed or if they are feeling unwell. 
biting can also be a way to ask for more attention. By providing your cat with the proper care and playtime, it can help reduce the likelihood of biting as a form of communication or attention-seeking. Last but not least, there's old age. As cats get older, their behavior may change and they may become more prone to biting. As the years go by, they can't see, hear, or move as well. They may also experience changes in their personality or mood. Regular checkups are a must at this stage in their life to ensure that any age-related health issues are addressed. In addition, it's important to provide your older cat with a comfortable and safe environment, and to make any necessary adjustments to their diet and exercise routine. Consider doing more of the activities that make them happy. By doing so, they'll get reminded that they love you, just as much as you love them. Well folks, we've uncovered the secret world of cat biting, and it turns out, it's not as mysterious as we thought. From playtime to pain, fear to attention, our feline friends have a variety of reasons for chomping down. But don't worry, with a little knowledge and a lot of love, we can keep our fingers safe and our cats happy. So, next time your cat sinks its teeth into you, just remember, it's not personal, it's just their way of communicating. For more videos like this, subscribe to the Kitty Corner, and until next time, stay bite-free.